this year and in the last clip before the intro you guys can see that I was on the train as you can see right now I am not on the train I am back at home and that's because it is two days after the trip and I am actually working on editing right now and then I realized that oh wait I didn't do the intro so I'm gonna do that right now so anyways if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is Sierra and American girl living in Japan every week I try to make a new video about my crazy life in Japan lush being vegan or zero waste and so if any of those things are interesting to you make sure the like and the subscribe button anyways now that all the official stuff is over let's get into the actual like intro to the video intro ness in the vlog today I'm pretty much just going to be going into central Tokyo with some new friends of mine who are a little bit camera shy which is why you can see they kind of like hide their heads away from the camera which is totally fine maybe someday if you guys are interested I'll get them to be in a video with me let me know in the comments Anyways, in the vlog, we decided to go and check out a couple of the new things that have been opening up in Tokyo. Well, one of them's not new, but anyways, first thing you're gonna see is you're gonna see us going into the new Starbucks Reserve Coffee Roastery, which is the now largest in the world, which is pretty awesome. Not many people in the world can say they've been to the current largest coffee roastery, which is kind of cool. The largest used to be in Shanghai, and then Tokyo came in and was like, no way, not gonna happen. We're gonna build a bigger one, so they did or maybe Starbucks decided to make a bigger one. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But anyway, we went to the coffee roastery and then we walked around shopping in Harajuku and then we decided to go to a cafe to check out some of their new menu items. Anyway, I hope that you guys stick around and watch because a couple of things in the vlog are pretty interesting to see. And if you're traveling to Tokyo soon or if you live in Tokyo, you might see something that you didn't know existed. I found some things I didn't even know existed in Tokyo. We're almost there, you guys. So finding the Starbucks Reserve Roastery in Tokyo was a little bit more complicated than we expected. The closest train station to the roastery is Shibuya Station, and the roastery is about a 15 or so minute walk from the station, but we were in a little bit of a hurry because we had heard that the waits can be anywhere between 15 minutes and 4 hours long at their peak, and since we were getting there around 10.30 or so, we were a little bit worried about having to wait too long, so we decided to grab a bus. If you're in a rush, you can go out to the Shibuya Station and grab bus 41, and then you have to ride it about 4 stops to Suge Kashiragako bus stop. At least I think that's how you're supposed to say it. I'll write it down in the description. Once you get there and you go to walk in the doors to check in, you actually can't go directly into the entrance. Instead, you have to go past the building just a little bit to something that they call the Welcome Center. And then within the Welcome Center, what you do is there's about four iPads sitting there and you have to put in your party number and then it'll print out a little receipt slip thingy. After you scan your code, the line app will tell you how many people are ahead of you and once your table is ready or when it's about your time in line, it'll tell you to come back to the restaurant. And once you get back to the roastery and you show them your reservation number, they'll let you in and you can do whatever it is that you want to do. Now, when we were planning our trip to the roastery, I really didn't know what to expect, but I can honestly say that the roastery definitely exceeded any expectations that I would have set and here's why. First thing when you guys walk in, as you can see, you can see pretty much like the whole setup and everything that they do there. At the Starbucks roastery, they do literally everything from unpacking the beans to roasting the beans to bagging the beans and prepping them for sale. Which, if you ask me, it's pretty cool to see the whole thing in action. And actually, if you travel up and down the different floors, you can kind of see them literally doing everything. Um, another thing I thought that was really interesting about the roastery is that they have three different floors where you can get different drinks. The first floor, as you guys saw in the first clip, of course, was just the coffee floor, so you can order from a whole range of coffees there. And the second floor is kind of like the Teavana floor, which is an American tea chain that's connected with Starbucks in the States, and you can order all kinds of tea drinks. And then on the third floor is kind of like the hybrid coffee bar like as in it actually serves alcohol. I didn't really look at the menu because it was pretty early in the day to start drinking but from what I've heard they have a bunch of drinks that are both tea slash coffee slash just alcohol mixed together and it should be pretty interesting so if, inter if that's something interested in I highly recommend checking it out. And then on the same floor is the bar and also I think the floor above they have plenty of indoor and outdoor seating. If you're lucky enough and get there early enough to snag a seat outside, especially in the next couple of weeks, it'll be perfect for Hanami, aka cherry blossom viewing. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sierra. I'm sorry I couldn't shoot my intro when I was walking here. Um, but anyways, we are at the Starbucks Reserve Grocery in Tokyo and it is supposed to be the biggest in the entire world. And as you guys can see kind of behind me, it's pretty cool in here. I'm gonna add a whole bunch of footage in here, but anyways, I ordered two drinks. I ordered the Emerald Mule, which is supposed to be like a cold brew 
Moscow Mule inspired drink with like an apple on it. And I also got the Guatemala cherry because as you guys know, Melinda, you don't know, I'm from Michigan and I want to see if it's similar to the roasted cherry coffee. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys for now. I am going to browse around and give you a little bit of shopping while I wait for my little buzzer to go off and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. As you can see, there's people baking and stuff back there. And then down here, I didn't realize that first that it's actually like a person getting ready to roast the coffee. And I guess, I don't know if it goes in there. Maybe it goes in there. I don't know, but it's really, really awesome. Well, actually, I think it goes down there and goes back up there. But I don't know, we'll see. But my thing is buzzing, so I'm gonna get my drink. I don't really know what these extra cups are for, but I have a Moscow Mule, except it's not a Moscow Mule. It's got coffee and no alcohol, but it also has all the regular stuff in it. Uh, Moscow Mule, and it has an apple, which is really interesting. And I got, as I said earlier, the cherry Uganda fruit. So I'm try them out, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Hey everybody, it's me again. So I'm still at the top of the Starbucks Reserve Roastering and I've got to say that the mule was amazing. I've never had, well I've never met a mule that I didn't like. So the Emerald City Mule was probably the best mule I've had in my entire life and it didn't even have any alcohol in it. As far as the like cherry flavored coffee, I could taste it a little bit but I'll have to say it's not quite as good as the Big B one. So anyways, um, my friends are actually already downstairs, I need to go catch up with them. But we're gonna go out and do some shopping and then I think we're gonna try to grab a Sakura burger before the crowd comes. travel tripod. I don't think it was eaten by the floor or something in my apartment. But anyways, um, you guys can't really see the street behind me, but that's Harajuku there. And we're currently at the Botanist Cafe. And it's the cafe I was talking about earlier that has the Sakura burger. It's fully vegan and it looks delicious and it's pink and I have no idea what it's going to taste like, but it's really great. And so I ordered that with some jasmine tea. And I think I might get tiramisu after, maybe, because they have vegan tiramisu, but we'll see. Okay, you guys, my food is here now, and this is my separate burger. I've got pink uh, vegan and vegan cheese and beautiful full bun. I'm not 100% sure exactly what they're comfortable, but I've heard that it's a sweet potato. It's pretty awesome, which means no food dye. It has a little cauliflower salad. So 
it's me again and I'm on the top of a building right now. You can see it's got a really beautiful rooftop terrace where there is a restaurant. It's called Bill's. I think you can see it up right up there. And also has a Starbucks and top. It looks like a lot of people mostly are drinking coffee, but I think anyone's allowed to hang out up here. But anyways, before we got here, we finished up at Botanist. All of it was amazing. Highly recommend. I'll write the name of the restaurant and the location in the description so you guys can check it out if you want to. Pretty much done for today. I think I'm going to hang out up here for a little while and kind of enjoy the atmosphere. And then I'm going to probably have a walk back through Harajuku, through Lush, and then probably go back home. So here I am at home, which you guys can't tell. Um, it's around, I would say, 8 p.m. or so now, and I'm preparing myself a little bit of yummy dinner. It's just a salad because I ate so much, like, really rich food today. Um, but anyways, I just got home from the train ride, which was really, I don't know, it was a rough train ride, and I'm probably going to make a story time video about it in a few days um, as soon as I have some time to, like, cool down. Um, I'm totally fine. Nothing dramatic happened to me, but... Um, I did kind of have like a weird experience. So I'm going to eat the salad and I'm going to take a bath with one of the three bath bombs that I got at the Lush Labs and I'm going to go to bed. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.